Header leveling is factory adjusted and should not be changed unless out of level. Park the combine on level ground and set tire pressure evenly and correctly. Lower the header until the cutter bar is 6 to 10 inches above a level surface. If the combine is equipped with a lateral tilt feeder house faceplate, then make sure that the faceplate is centered and level. If the header is equipped with gauge wheels or a transport package, then raise the wheels to their highest locked position so that they do not contact the ground during adjustment. Adjust the hydraulic header angle tilt halfway between B and C. Completely lower and position the reel fore aft at position 5 on the right hand reel arm. Make sure that the float locks are disengaged on both sides of the header. Check that the float linkage is against the downstop. The washers should be tight on both sides. If header height is uneven, then adjust the leveling nuts as follows. Turn the leveling nut clockwise to raise the header. Turn the leveling nut counterclockwise to lower the header. Use small adjustments of one quarter to one half turn and adjust each side of the header equally but in opposite directions. The set screw does not require loosening if making small adjustments of one quarter to one half turn. When adjusting the leveling nut, lock and unlock the float to check that the arm moves freely. If the leveling nut is adjusted too far in, then the float lock cannot be engaged. The float lock is not affected when leveling the head when the adjustment is less than two turns on the float nut. Header leveling setup is now complete. If your header seems to require additional adjustment, then please consult your operator's manual, contact your nearest MacDon dealer, or contact MacDon product support for further assistance. If your header is a flex header, then please proceed to the next video, setting header wing balance.